So if you know who I am, you would know that I'm not an aimer, I more rely on team communication and the team aspect of the game. When I switched over from console to PC over 5 months ago, I saw a huge flaw in my gun skill and I realized that it's something that I need to work on because I feel very confident in my IQ in the game, it just it lacks very much when it comes to taking my ones. For the past 20 or so days, I've been doing someone's aiming guide and basically in this video I want to show you what that is, how it works, and how it helped me. Twenty days ago, a content creator by the name of New Black released a aim guide. How he basically switched over from console to PC, and how he actually got very good aim. And this is probably one of the most helpful and great aim guides I've seen out there in a long, long time since like back in the day when Braxton used to release these videos. This was extremely helpful. So if you want to go check out this video, link in the description. It's a hella good video. I recommend it. Just so you know, this is for PC and console players. Just the first part, which is CSGO, doesn't really rely or uh, is relevant to console players. So if you want to skip ahead, timestamps are in the description. So starting out, I would actually load up CSGO. Uh, you can get this extension. It's basically a training pack uh, with bots and it's just good. You can load in as many bots as you want. And what this does is this actually helps you with your flicks and your first shot accuracy. It also can help with uh, crosshair placements, but as you can see in some of these clips, I'm very far. Now, New Black actually suggested this. It's actually very helpful. It's a good way to, uh, like, not... It's a good way just to practice your aim overall. And it's, you know, I, I'm surprised that it's year five and Siege doesn't have a training grounds or, you know, extension into training grounds where you can actually make your own packs, kind of like Rocket League. But that's, like I said, just something I never see Siege doing. Even though, you know, old ass game like CSGO and, you know, games like Rocket League have that. But anyways, this is very helpful. I would suggest it. As you can see, starting out, I was very slow. And it just got better and better as the days because I got more immune to flicking from different enemies. It was It's very good to practice flicking on multiple enemies as well. That's the good thing about this. It's actually amazing what this man thought of it's so creative to go into a custom lobby and actually do this i don't understand how it's year five and we don't have literal packages to practice recoil it would be very great for newcomers and it would actually be great for some people switching over but mechanically this is something i would do starting off strafing back and forth into a doorway trying to hold a peek and i would even practice quick leaning because even though i've been on pc for about five to six months now I would need to practice quick leaning and just getting my fingers adjusted to the keyboard. It, it's been overall a weird situation and even I feel like veteran players that's been on keyboard for a while, this is still a way better option than Terrorist Hunt. Because Terrorist, Terrorist Hunt, they don't react as exact uh, players would and humans, they're AIs, they just shoot through walls. It is good maybe just to run around to just try to get quick reactions, but as you can see, this is very cringy. I'm just, I'm trying, I'm trying to get my fingers down when it comes to the keyboard. Moving on, the next thing I would do would, uh, was actually try to keep my crosshair in one area, but move. This helps my mechanical skills get better and better over time. Now, at first glance, you probably think it's a little stupid, but it is very effective. This, If you start practicing at least like 20 to 30 minutes a day, you can definitely see results in time. I started hitting a lot more flicks and my reaction timing actually started getting better from doing drills that this man posted. This is the most difficult thing I found in the training pack was basically strafing back and forth from these white pillars on favela and going back and forth and trying to flick. This does help a lot with your flicks. Even though at first you're not going to be able to be consistent like he was in the video or like I'm not even consistent still with it, but it does take time, but it is very helpful to for readjustments, especially when you're trying to kill multiple enemies. The most creative thing out of this was actually putting holes in the wall in Favela, or I guess you can do it on any wood walls, and you put about six and you try to flick from each hole. Now you just do it by random, but it is very difficult. This is... It, exactly my first time ever doing this and it felt very strange i would like to once again give a props to mans that made this and thought of this as you can see i'm not fluent with it if you go to his video and you watch it he's very fluent and he's very accurate but he's been doing it for every day and it is he's literally the prime example of how you can actually get great aim 
The last thing I would do was go into a tea hunt with Sophia and grab her pistol and just try to one tap as many enemies as possible and make sure they're headshots. Whether or not like I couldn't hit it on the first shot and if I end up dying, it's whatever. You don't play tea hunts to win, you get you play tea hunts to get better. I feel like this is definitely good for your first shot accuracy and it's good for crosshair placement because if you're aiming at the chest, you're going to get smacked by these stupid bots. Besides that, I don't really find T-Hunt being that productive with your time when you can be going into workshops on CSGO or if you're on console, you can be doing what he was doing on Favela, what I showed you. It's way more productive besides doing that one shot, first shot accuracy. Running around and just shooting terrorists aren't very productive, even if you're on expert, because it is a bot, you know, you are getting wall banged randomly from a bunch of bots, and it's just not human reaction, of course. It is good to, you know, try to warm up your aim and try to warm up your reaction time, of course, but besides that, I, I don't really find much, you know, much positive coming out of T-Hunt. The main thing I found helpful about these training packs is, of course, my movement, meaning my mechanics, and actually my flicks. Beforehand, I wasn't actually uh, accurately hitting flicks, but as you can see, I'm going to show some clips of my progress. You can see that I'm getting better and better and more fluent. No chance. No. Right. What? I, th I thought we were going to hold him. I thought you guys were going to hold split while I like, push this guy. You guys no, I, no, I was just holding sitting right here. Sitting right on ping. Sitting on ping. Oh, you said apologize. Nice shot. It's Nomad, Enzo, Phil. No way. Headshot is a... One's pushing away. Bottom. Bottom. Oh my god, Yeah. Well, I have a view my I got it, so uh, okay. that Kitchen, even though it's gonna do nothing. Now, what are they doing? Did you one tap that kid? Yep. I'm bottom green. Liam. Yeah, I got Oh, fuck, yeah, fuck that. Just go the window, Ash. She's still out there, dude. I would just swing that bitch. She's still out open area. She's tight right in your chest. Yeah. Yep. Now, these examples are really nothing special, to be honest, but at the end of the day, I am getting better slowly but surely with these. Uh, with my mechanics and with the w the training overall now I'm not trying to say like I'm the best or I'm anything close to the person that actually made that I just want to give a big kudos to that person because I actually think it tremendously helped me and I feel like me posting a video like this can definitely help a lot of more people now like i said his link to that video will be down in the description go sub to his channel even though i know he's like 10 times bigger than me it was still big one love to him because it did help me and it's continuing to help me another thing that actually did help me as well is uh, ha playing with more confidence because beforehand i knew that i was i had bad aim and or not the best aim from actually what I wanted and what I wanted to perceive myself as. So playing with confidence and just actually calm. Because a lot of times, instead of just playing, I would just play with anxiety. And every little move that I would make, I would slowly just question what I'm doing. And that would just make me play very poorly. So the one thing I want you to take from this, if you're one of those players that get inside your head, just try to play. And I know that sounds very simple or very stupid, but if you know what I'm talking about, then just try to play. Don't don't overthink. Don't think that you're going to potato. Because the second that you let yourself think that, oh, I'm going to miss this shot. Or this shot's so easy, blah, blah, blah. You're going to end up missing that shot. And you're going to potato. You're going to let your self-confidence down. I wish Ubisoft would actually let us, as a community, start releasing our own packs. Kind of like on uh, CSGO, for example. And even Rocket League. It's really cool, at least on the PC side. I don't think console, it'd be very easy to do that. Uh, but making your own custom packs for newcomers and even helping people learn recoil and etc. It'd be a really cool thing that would actually help the community learn how to get better at certain situations. And it would just be refreshing because Terrasun or Training Grounds, whatever you want to call it, it's... It's useless in my opinion almost because even though, yeah, you can learn certain recoil patterns, I would just feel like a more hands-on approach would actually be a lot more amazing, especially with something like, like what this guy did with his own custom training packs. Uh, I keep calling it a training pack, but what he does on a custom match to learn, you know, flicks and, you know, to make his accuracy a lot better. It was very creative, and I salute the mans for that. It's It was a very solid video, so... Go check that man out. Link is in the description. 
Uh, besides that, if you enjoyed the video, I appreciate you. If not, then let's debate down in the comments. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, thank you so much. Have a lovely day.